The Rose Slayer by Stephen Bentley Six murders, two detectives, more than four million L.A. residents. That's a hell of a lot of suspects, Bill Parsons said. His partner, Sean Wells, shrugged. Parsons and Wells, detectives first class of LAPD robbery homicide squad, had been working this homicide case for the past three years. It was cases rather than a case. It was clear to them, their captain, the chief of detectives, the media, and the public, there was a serial killer at large in Los Angeles. What wasn't clear was the identity of the killer. Cops had no clue as to who it was or why. The modus operandi told them it was the work of one person. All middle-aged female victims, all single or divorced, lived alone, had a cat or cats as a pet, no dogs, and no kids. All the Vicks' homes, rear windows, Jimmy, nighttime entry believed to be between three to four in the early hours. Cause of death identical in all cases. A 22 slug in the brain fired at not over two feet away.